When it comes to bows, the lightweight archetype has always been quite weak when it comes to Crucible and PvE. Over the course of several months, Bungie always tries to add a little bit of a buff or a new perk to try to make weak archetypes actually relevant in the meta. We saw this with the 180 hand cannons, now we're seeing it with the lightweight frame bows. So what exactly are they trying to do to make a bow that is in that archetype actually useful? Well, they added Kill Clip. So Kill Clip is on a bow for the first time ever. This is not a new perk and you may be wondering okay that's crazy damage bonus but will the bow one tap to the head the answer is no but you can apply a damage buff from something like radiant and along with kill clip you will one tap now there's a couple other damage perks in this slot like adrenaline junkie and swashbuckler but i find those to be a lot more difficult to proc because with kill clip all you have to do is get a defeat with the bow you load in another arrow and you take advantage of that bonus damage so is it worth it i found that to be pretty fun there's some other perks here that i find that you shouldn't waste your time with such as opening shot successful warm-up i mean the bow already shoots really fast right and then you have gut shot straight since you cannot get the enhanced version of that perk this is going to hurt the bow a lot as you are going to find yourself feeling like the arrows just fly by opponents like they're paper airplanes the arrows just seem like they do not have any stickiness or aim assist towards players okay so once i show you my build you're going to see what we're using to get the radium buff so that we can try to get one taps while kill clip is proc i want to go ahead and recommend some other perks for this weapon so you have an idea of what to hunt for now when it comes to this slot you want to get anything that buffs your accuracy and lowers your draw time for that reason i believe polymer string to be the best bow string to go for on this next up is the arrow and the best one is going to be fiberglass arrow shaft as it's going to increase your accuracy by a bunch now the key here is to increase the accuracy of this bow because normally the lightweight frames have very poor accuracy and you're going to feel like the shots will just never hit a target i know because we have kill clip you would think that having a faster reloading speed will help get the ttk values higher since you could just reload an arrow quicker and use that damage perk but the truth is that because the accuracy can be so low you're just never going to hit a target and i'd rather land my arrows okay in the next trait we have one that gives us super energy but there's a bunch of other perks that i would rather have i think the god roll perk here is going to be rapid hit so you can get that reload bonus as you're hitting crits and that kind of synergizes with kill clip quite nicely another perk that i highly recommend is going to be moving target this one's great because it's going to give you some additional aim assist which i feel like the both need Needs. another one would be rangefinder and lastly tunnel vision so that pretty much covers the entire world of the bow it does come with a new origin trait because normally we have the trials origin trait the crucible ones but they're not that hype <laughs> but vase stinger actually gives you a nice little benefit it states that whenever you proc this perk the bows receive faster draw speed so the ball already shoots really fast <laughs> it's going to shoot even faster i have draw time masterwork and i recommend using a free hang grip mod or a targeting adjuster mod you can't put on an acreage grip it will boost your airborne effectiveness to over 30 but i find bows to be pretty good in the air without it anyways as for the build i'm using throwing knives with the caliban's hands exotic gauntlets so i can get a bunch of radiant bonuses and also the dodge here i hope you all enjoy watching the gameplay and if you do drop me a like drop me a comment don't forget to subscribe hit the bell to have notifications on for any video that i drop i hope you enjoy watching enemy claimed zone a Zone C captured. Double down. You have my respect, Hunter. You have advantage. Two for one. Oh my god. With the kill clip and the radiant? It actually does something. But having to hit three body shots with an arrow? Ouch. This is definitely an ouch. I suppose this is not really a bow you want to challenge with. Nice, Ophidians. Unless you have the damage bonus. If I don't get a crit, I kind of feel like I need to back off. Don't see you 
have Still getting chased by a nade. Still getting chased by a nade. Still getting chased by a nade. Nice team shots. Be prepared to get a bunch of assists with the ball. It's a lightweight frame. Man, I feel like I'm barely missing. Nasty. Hunter super kills are so free. <laughs> Zone C captured. You have advanced. That's why we have I wanted to re-challenge, but drawing the arrows is kind of brutal. I wish you could get Archer Simple kill clip. Okay, nice. Oh, look at you. Classic skill based matchmaking, right? These connections are just beautiful. Nice. Good win. Started getting a little crazy at the end <laughs> with the connections, but that felt pretty fun. I mean, you really got to push for the build to make it work. Like you need obviously a good roll for the kill clip and the arrows to register because the lightweight frame just has a lot of bloom and then you need the radiant. But with this build, it almost felt like it was viable, at least in sixes.